welcome back guys to round two of the top shelf pop-up number two at Skyline Wilderness Park in Napa, California. I'm Jason Hagen and, and I'm Holland Cole and we're here to pick up uh, the second round. Looks like we've had one switch out, Gabe Newstad for Dom and um, we're going to start off this action and we're hoping to see some really good disc golf here at Skyline Wilderness Park in Napa, California on October 10th, 2020. Okay, let's get to it. All right, here we're at a hole one again. As you guys can see, it's just an absolutely gorgeous day out here, um, which it is so often. Um, really fortunate to be out here in, in California. Uh, this shot up to the right, um, you have to just uh, avoid these manzanitas. You got to avoid some of these branches of the oak. And you just got to hope you don't roll. Absolutely. This is a, a very gettable position for hole one. And I expect to see uh, probably some forehands and turning backhands and maybe um, some overhand thumbers. Um, again, like you said, you're, you're hoping to just hit it and stick somewhere where you can make a putt from. That looked like good action. You, yeah, you got just, an opportunity there. Just got stopped a little early there. It's going to leave me with the putt. So Dale's playing the high side here. Um, and again, uh, what a... Down. What a stop. I, now I would not call it the high side. He's playing the circle. That man is good. Here we have our new player on the lead card, uh, Dom. He is shot five down in the first round, and so he is tied for second place. Yeah, a little bit of unorthodox style, but just one of those guys that puts the disc where he's trying to put it, you know, and, it, and he'll absolutely beat you um, through, uh, through placement and putting. Absolutely. I, I truly love when a player can go their way with their discs, their mechanics, their bodies, that really is what this golf's all about. Um, we don't all have to be in the same box, the same mechanics, to produce good results, and, and Dom is a, an example of that for me. Here's Dom, probably yeah. about 34, 33 feet. Good. Just wow, really nice. Hot for go. It's well, way to start the second round right there. Yeah, I, just really great way to start and uh, putting a little bit of pressure on me because at five down, he's now at six down, which ties himself for the lead. So this putt here, I wouldn't say is a gimme, right? No, no, it, it's one that I'm I'm hoping to get, but first um, putt of the uh, of the round, um, definitely not a uh, definitely not easy. And players have had about an hour hour and a half in between, just enough time to get a little. Uh, <laughs> Sandwich in here, something to get back up here. So this is a two-round tournament in one day um, from Top Shelf uh, Disc Supply um, that sells a lot of beautiful discs online and in person. And it started uh, doing these pop-up tournaments that have been real popular around the uh, North Carolina area. So it looks like uh, again uh, for the second time today, I've ruined the the star frame, and uh, and there goes my lead. You're up for two on birdie runs a whole lot. Yeah, glad someone's keeping count. Yeah, it's, it's easy <laughs> when the map is that simple like you guys. So here we are on hole two. We've got a nice new tee pad. Uh, during the COVID era, we have rounded out the entire course and there are now 20 tee pads made of concrete. So this is traditional straight position. Again on hole two, I believe. And um, most of the course got shifted for the second round, but it looks like a few of them were kind of locked in place. Um, so again, just looking to get out there by these posts. Oh, and speaking and, of yeah, locked in place, that was pretty nice shot for the yeah, second hole around two from Dale Bennett. So I will say this about Dom: he is one of the nicest, most kind, warm-hearted, genuine, good souls I've ever met in my life, and I think anyone that knows him feels the same way. So. We were real excited to see Dom, uh, one of the locals on this uh, top pro week card with you guys. There's a good looking shot from Spencer. You're happy to be above those posts. You know, he's going to be around 20 feet. So here you are throwing the same disc, the Star Leopard, just gets a little left this time, but are you unhappy with that drive? Or? Um, I'm unhappy with the way I threw it, um, but fairly happy with the result. This is another slope straddle putt from deep. I would say most of the time these don't go in. 
and again, though, you are happy that this one sticks around because uh, we've all seen too many of these roll down the, the hill, you know, 100 feet Absolutely. plus. Absolutely. The, the way that dumps the uh, hunter just kind of faded at the end, almost two bone the slope. That, that could have been 200 feet downhill. You know. Great putt from Jason. How are you feeling about that one? Uh, good. Uh, it would be uh, the word to describe it. I'm feeling right. pretty happy good. about that. Okay, I mean, so. especially given the, the first one I missed, I'm feeling uh, very happy. Very nice. And you're right. You'll stay calm. You've got a lot of golf to go. Uh, are, is that part of your mental strategy here where you're trying not to get too excited and just stay the course? Or what do you think of that? Um, I mean, at that point, you know, I, was, I wasn't I was counting on that birdie. You know, I was really hoping to, to put the drive a little bit closer. Um, drive was farther. It was one of those kind of the bonus ones that hopefully is leading into more, you know, mm -hmm. negative golf, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. under par golf. Something to build on there, you Yeah, said? that's what I'm hoping. Um, the hole three here, this position, um, I mean, if you guys remember from the last round, it was that shorter position with the elevated basket. This position is much tougher to birdie. Um, the, the angle on this hill is just tough to, um, to get kind of over. Um, really tough to put something inside the circle, even though it says again 258. 258. I really do challenge Absolutely. any any players in the in the region to to come out here and put it um, within <laughs> 25, 30 feet as Dale just absolutely pulverizes this hole. That's about as good as you're you're uh, you're going to see on these drives, most likely. I, um, but yeah, this is uh, this course, this local skyline course with the elevation. It, it's hard to convey just how kind of inaccurate some of these um, distances are. 258 feet, you're like, oh, I'll throw a putter up there. It's not that. This is a completely different shot that's shaped by the trees and that you're happy with great two and you're, you're okay with a three because there's quite a slope off to the right of this basket. So I throw a very um, uh, you know, normal shot, I guess, a very, uh, well, uh, a loss for words. Uh, a shot that uh, executed often, that shot off to the left, um, that hits those trees off to the left, and uh, you just kind of saw it off a little early. Very nice upshot. Yes, you know, exactly. The, uh, those tree, if you can hit those trees and stick around, you're okay. And I, as you can see here, you're, you're happy probably with the three uh, based on where your drive hit, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is again one of those holes that can easily get away from you, just as any hole out here can. Is he running this or is he laid up? Uh, uh, that's a layup. Okay. In hindsight, that's a layup. Again, I call that an adult decision. In my game, for some reason, I think that's going in, and then I end up down the hill. But I'm learning a lot from watching these players, to be honest. I thought you were the one that was. There. And Dale comes up in here and just cleans up uh, one of the closest birdies that you'll see on this hole. That one earlier was your best drive ever. That's nice because I remember um, it's a very tough lefty backhand hole. So you know Dale worked on his forehand for years just to be able to kind of execute that shot. So it's really nice to see him doing that on tournament Sunday or Saturday, pardon me. Here we are. We're going back up to hole four. This is. A little bit to the right of where it was, um, probably about 100 feet from the first round. Um, I'd say you're going to see some lefty backhands, some uh, forehands. Uh, if you can get to the left of the basket up here, you have a clear putt for bird. Uh, that is another ideal. Drive. That's a great shot. I mean, this is, I gotta say, I can't love, I, I don't love this shot. This is one of those that you are kind of just hoping for it to skip through the trees or get around. It's, it's really one of those. Um, you throw what you think is a good shot, and then you just kind of have to hook the course. Gives you what you want. Yeah, I like that. You know, Spencer's probably looking for a similar kind of scoop, but just his fiber say a little flatter. Um, but yeah, you're, you're looking to play off of the ground here if you're not going all the way past wide. Um, I, you know, I threw a bad shot, i got to be honest, and uh, the fact that it's 45 or 50 feet for the birdie is, uh, you know, fortunate. Um, yeah, I'm, you, well, they, any sort of early contact tree that doesn't pull down on this hill, you're happy with. Di, um, so I'm going with a DX Cobra. You got it. It's it. Looks like a similar amount of luck as, as I had. You kind of threw it on, threw it in early, and uh, just missed some branches, and ends up with clean look. I know a lot of people that 
just try to throw it up to the gap where you guys are. That's their best play. So the fact that you guys end up with a clean lip on this one. Oh, with another strong side chip. Yeah. That's a yeah, pretty good bid. For definitely team. would have liked to see that go in with the way that, uh, you know, as Dale's charging the way he is, I was really hoping to, to kind of keep pace. So you're aware of the score exactly where everybody's at this point? Oh, uh, no. Ooh, we got a little uh, skyline rearing her. Oh, and not only. Rearing her ugly head. Not only a little bit. Spencer getting skyline, you know, believe it or not, he was actually some good luck there because that's out of bounds. He could have rolled through that tree. Instead, he's going lefty forehand. I don't know well, if we've seen the lefty forehand from him yet. But we have not in this uh, good execution this day, there. I call the lefty forehand the unicorn of disc golf shots because it is rare to see. Dom for bird. Again, there's a, the air ball, the fortunate air ball. You know, as, as, as Spencer probably would have liked to have himself. And Dale um, just blasts it in there. And he's uh, he's taking control. He is on a groove, folks. And I think you're right. You know, if you're gonna miss on our course, a lot of times, some, it's better to just miss it completely and have a tap in. So I trying to keep pace with you, huh? Get a tree in the basket. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty upset that we're we're being filmed, so I have to take out a new disc and and put it in. Is that something that was on your mind? I know you've mentioned it a couple times. First time filming, I guess. Do you think it affected your play in any way? Um, you know, the it, it definitely affected my play in some way, um, but it's hard to say how because, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with the score. Um, yeah. Can't say it's my best round out here, but it's definitely not my worst. So uh, sometimes that pressure does lead to to better shots. Yeah, you're you're an under golfer out here. You're an under golfer in general. It's always shooting under par unless it's a, an off day. So you're kind of right in the pocket. Um, where you used to be right here now. Yeah, so uh, this um, this hole, pretty short as you see it, a, a disc coming right at us. Um, short, but you gotta get over these trees in, in, in such a way that uh, uh, it's, it's a really tough shot. Um, the overhand, which I throw and a few other people throw, um, tends to be a pretty good shot, Ooh. as that one is. If I could do that, I would do that. That's ideal, right? Yeah, that, that, that's about as good as I was hoping for. Um, I don't do that every time. And so that was an eagle tomahawk? That was an eagle tomahawk. Very good. Spencer going with the righty spike hydra, kind of, or fade hydra. That looks really good, too. Wow. Yeah, Again, good shot. I continue to be impressed by Spencer's um, command of our course. I know he has played it in the past. Um, Solid player. Very, very nice. Dominant, but nice. Nice righty hyzer. That one got through and gives him a putt. I'd say that's a traditional play for a lot of um, right-handed players. Just kind of get up, hook it back, and, and hope to make your putt. So, so here we got about 25 feet for birdie for Spencer. So I'm noticing Spencer's a straddle putt. And a good putt. And for Again, a right just the... Well, as a right-hander, he leads with his left foot forward on his putt. Starting to notice, you know, Dom's got a more traditional staggered stance here. There you go. He nails the putt. Good putt as well. Uh, and we haven't really mentioned it yet, but as you can see, the flags are flags are moving. Um, there's some wind today. Um, I'd probably say 15 miles an hour or so. That's enough to think about when you're out there looking. You know, 15, 20 foot putts become a little bit more scary. Let's see. So Dale, again, making an upshot. An incredible putt. And, you know, that's been known. There was a time when that was outside of his range, so it's really nice to see him having stretched his overall game. But that's been months. It's been months. Since that, that it, it's been point. months. And then that 2017 uh, Finnish Cup Pro Open Championship, uh, I guess it did something for his confidence. But, um, yeah, here we are in hole six. And, again, you go through the gauntlet. This is in the short position. Um, I'd say the statistical play, the highest percentage, again, is an overhand, a tomahawk if you have one. Um, other than that, throw a nice putter down the middle backhand. Yeah, so I, I play the uh, the safe route, or what I consider the safe route, although I don't know how well it ended up. Wow, easy power on the overhand. Uh, 
a little too much easy power. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like the look of that, but that's a bit scary. That's probably more of an upshot. I, I think that's probably what I'm gonna go for. So Dom going with the putter down the middle, G star Rhino. Pretty much hit that gap and you should be all right. He pulls it a little to the right. Pulls it, yeah, he pulls it, but that is, that's okay. You're coming uphill at the basket, you know, you can give it a little bit of a run and you're probably gonna end up there safe for the par. Tournament play, you gotta be more than happy with just getting out. Uh, nice, uh, any yeah. touch back. Good, good gator, off gator off shot, factor. really good gator shot. Um, that's absolutely where you want to be. Um, believe it or not, you know, 15 feet or less on this hole isn't isn't a gimme and doesn't feel like a gimme with the the wind and the, the backdrop that you've got. But uh, really good drive. Yeah, Dale goes with the lefty forehand standstill Firebird, and uh, I think that wind is coming into play with you guys kind of stabling up. And you probably threw your tomahawk hard because Ooh. of the wind. Bit of a head cross on the play. That ended up sticking around, and it looked like I had a little bit of speed to it. Let's see what I do. I'm laying up. And you're feeling great about that, right? Yeah, I mean, the, you can't quite see it, but there's a bit of a ridge um, off to the right there, a little rock ridge. Um, Dale, you know, also plays it safe. Um, that I just got past that I'm pretty happy about. Kind of where Spencer's at. And uh, he's probably, um, you know, he's just keeping himself, uh, getting himself in the uh, in the zone. Um, there you go. Normal putt for a pro. Puts out at a different stance than he did last time. His right foot was forward there. Here's Dom navigating the slope towards par putt. Good putt. It is just a beautiful course. That's one of the things that keeps us coming back out here is, yes, it's a constant challenge. Move one pin and you've got to throw a completely different shot on a lot of these holes. Uh, but while you're in between holes and watching somebody else shoot, you're looking at big birds flying around, hawks, vultures, lizards, you'll see the, the happy yeah, Lots of turkeys, you know. Lots of turkeys, wildflowers. Uh, the seasons changing out here is just one of our absolute well, There's a There's a hawing pole sighting. Is that Am for Life? Am for Life commentary? <laughs> there's Am for Life with a couple of double Ds popping out of his shirt. Um, uh, pardon me, we'll, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll edit that one out later. Yeah, that'll be it. It's post-production, right? Yeah, MG, thank you. Like, uh, seeing a picture of yourself to get yourself back on the treadmill. All right, uh, hole seven. This is, um, again, it, this is, it's it's 205. It, it, obviously, it plays farther than 205 being uphill, but it's another one of those that you just, you really have to know how to, how to play it um, to land softly on the hill. Um, slash, you have to kind of, you have to not have any bad luck. Um, you're going to see a couple of these, uh, you know, backhand lefty hyzers or forehand righties or um, overhands. Um, but it looks like that it was a terrific shot by Spencer. You know, that was a great shot. And the gamble is whether that hill cradles your disc or kicks it out. And um... looks like I throw it just uh, yeah, pretty good, a little bit far. But this is, I'm thinking about Bill Weathers song right now. Lovely day, because man, those drives landing right up there. <laughs> Lovely day. Man. Let's hope it keeps going. So Dom looks like he's turning. I'm probably guessing the Cobra again. I didn't get a chance to drop it, but I know he likes to throw. That leaves him um, right there, a little outside of circle, um, but with an uphill putt, which is nice to have. So Dale goes lefty putter, and I think he's had a better chance of staying on the hill. I don't know why, and he does stay there and has an opportunity. So uh, I'd say that was four quality drives from this lead card. Yeah, this is definitely one that you're hoping to get. Seven seven short is one of the easier ones, but um, nothing's a gimme out here. Yeah, and where Dom was there, that's outside the circle. That's uh, I call that stealing a bird if you were to hit that. Um, the rest of you guys are kind of probably expected to make your putts, but um, so, watching Dom out there. Was... So Dale um, just Ooh. slams it in. I mean, you know, that's a, that was a really big putt because he's got the lead by one. He knows I'm probably going to make this one. And you miss that, and it's, it's probably going to roll. Uh, easily could have been a two-stroke swing there. So clutch putt from Dale. I'm happy to make mine. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a little like on the edge of my seat because of Dale's putting style, to be honest. He's so good. But he blames that thing in there, and half the time I'm wondering, 
what happens if it doesn't go in? Uh, he, I mean, he's one of those players that makes 35 feet look real easy, but, you know, he, as we all do, he has those days where, where 25 feet is uh, seems really tough. Um, so he's, a, he's around 1,000 rated. Um, wow. I'm not sure at the moment, um, but... Uh, so, Anyways, here we are at yeah, eight. Yeah, so here we are at a hole eight. This is a straight ahead B position, 385, and it plays, I'd say it plays all of 385. Um, not too up or down, but there's usually a crosswind from left to right. And so I'd say the righty hyzer play around the tree or the big lefty. I don't see a lot of forehanders doing it anymore. The trees have kind of grown in. Um, but here we are uh, with Spencer Link chucking a Firebird at 380 foot with a crosswind, usually left or right. That looks just I, really... My Firebirds do really good. off did the he, basket. Um, I think he hit the basket. He did, I think. Wow. Um, yeah, my Firebirds did not go that far. You'll be out here quite a while and you're good not going to see that. It was a really good shot. Okay, so you're making me eat my words immediately with a forehand eight. Yeah, I'm throwing that eight. I really am enjoying it. I mean... Yeah. And Are you trying to not throw it too far? Because that thing looks like... I, I'm, really, I'm trying to, to crash through those branches, and uh, I didn't quite crash through the branches. And uh, you deal with the Glow Thunderbird. He's throwing a similar line as I throw. Obviously a bit lower. Let's see if it works out for him. It doesn't. I think he was a little bit off there, because um, he's usually playing crashing the basket. Here we've got Dom, Pro Destroyer. Popping his reverse X step like a pro. And that's coming out a little early. This is the, the mistake that you see. Um, sometimes it's, it's, it's when you see, you know, and players out here, they'll be throwing it real early and they end up having to walk um, really far down the canyon and uh, they never play disc golf again. It's a, uh, <laughs> it, it is the learning curve. I, I, we call it our uh, kind of our iconic um, shot hole eight. Um, and as a righty backhander, your first thing is usually all the way down the canyon. Um, Good up shot there by Dale. So it does look like that Dale, uh, as a pro, is also keeping count of the score and knows just where you guys are here at nine and ten. Are you feeling an increase in? Oh hell yeah, dude. Internal energy or nerves is it was just the right. same as it was on old one the first. I, I've been feeling nerves. Uh, obviously, with with Dale playing as good as he has, you know he's gotten two strokes on me in this round. Um, I'm conscious of that, uh, but you know I'm really just trying to play my game, um, and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. Um, I know that again, if I'm not, if I don't make uncharacteristic mistakes, then I've got, I've got a good chance. Great putt from Don. I will say it. He was on circle's edge, but you look at that backdrop, and if you airball it, you're going to be 200 feet down. As, so, as it is with so many holes out here. He, I, we chopped over it, but really nice putt from Don. Then. So uh, hole nine here, 231 feet, and it it plays about that, maybe a little bit less, but it's just one of the toughest 231 foot holes you'll play. It's just really hard to get it to stick around. Um, it's pretty hard pan dirt. Um, if you're throwing that backhand off to the right, it's gonna skip down to the left, um, which just seems to be the main shot. Um, it's, it's just tough to get it uh, in the circle. Yeah, I'd say the percentage play uh, based on the fairway kind of being up to the right, is a righty hyzer. Um, and you just try to get it on the slope. When I first started playing out here, everybody I saw through drivers, and it would it would hit the around the basket and skip to oblivion. And that's the, wow, uh, great, that, great shot. With, I I'm glad I talked about it. how difficult that shot was because now he just made it seem real easy. E easy. And I throw straight a shot that I don't think I've ever thrown before. Straight into broccoli. We call this tree broccoli, folks. Straight into broccoli. And it stays up. And it stays up. And, and, you have been there years. and it's a gnarly, absolute gnarly up shot. So is wind, is, is wind perhaps why you ended up I, kind of powering? Or? I, I, th I think the wind definitely affected it. It pushed it left to right a little bit. Um, but mostly I think uh, I maybe got my head, was trying to really avoid the tree in front. Um, even though there's a lot of room to the right, um, just uh, just one to learn from. And, and you know, you might not get this every time, but when you're playing well and you're playing in a tournament, nine short, this one you want, right? Yeah. So you saw uh, uh, Dom there. 
he threw that really, really tight to the tree in front and ended up kind of straight on with the basket. Uh, uh, a little bit of the, fresh the, air the flying U, as we call it. Yeah. Great camera work from MG Pro. Here we are again, just to remind you. Oh, us, what a snag. To, wow, and you did it before you did it shot. Now, normally I talk people out of that sack behavior. Let's see if you pulled it off. And it looks like you did. I've seen a lot of people climb trees, you know, twerk out their arms and legs. They get down there and they try to throw their shot. It's a horrible thing. So, well played there, Mr. Megan. Okay. Thank you. I, th I, you know, the upshot, uh, it's actually, it was a really, it's a tough upshot going downhill like that with the, uh, the hard pan. Um, relatively happy with it, um, but still I've got about 25 feet to, to deal with. Now this is a putt that a lot of us locals have seen many a time. You're just close enough where you can't lay it up, and you you got to be just crazy enough to go for it, and Dom yeah. gets how, it. How many of you guys at home Beautiful. are actually going for that and uh, Beautiful. actually making it? Dom, so far at this point, has just impressed us all with his putting. And I'm sitting here going, thanks Dom. You know, I'm 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 here for my for my my bogey and uh, these are not gimme putts in my opinion. They're just something about this. Hey, very <laughs> nice, a little course in love. I'll take I'll I'll take absolutely all that I can get. That was a big putt. Um, that was a big putt. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but like you said, the circumstances. You know, you were one back off deal. You're trying to stick around with them. No, I was. And you just saw Dom try to big putt you. And you focused, you put it down, you got close to the basket. And that wraps us up for the second round, front nine of the lead card for pop-up number two. Uh, we saw a lot of good golf. Jason, is there anything uh, you're looking forward to in this back nine? Well, I mean, we just saw a lot of really good death putts being made. I'm looking forward to more of that. Um, this, this lead card seems to have no fear with regards to putting, putting with... Uh, hills behind them, so let's see more of that. I'm looking forward to this last um, portion of the, of the tournament and looking looking forward to seeing how it goes. I agree, I think that the course is looking a little more kind during the second round than the first round. Uh, a little, little bit more grabby on the drives, a little bit less rolly, and let's continue to hope to see some good golf and a strong finish here from uh, the lead card.